for everybody though, I think that the last, the last week before you take the LSAT should be pretty consistent across the board. What do you think about that? Totally. And I can certainly relate to the idea of like ramping it up as you get closer to the exam. A lot of times over a, a three month period or a five, six month period, you won't do as much as the, at the beginning, you'll kind of build up slowly, build, kind of warm up. But once you hit that final month, it's like you're in the thick of it, exam after exam, measure your results. Now, no, don't just measure them. Also review everything you do, everything you get wrong, everything you have difficulty with. So in that final week specifically, I'd say maybe do one exam and review it, but not really anything more than that. If you're studying full time, meaning you have no other obligations, you could do two full length exams in that week, but I wouldn't do anything more than that because this is not the time to learn something new. This is really the time to refine what you've already been doing and to get results you feel good about, to get realistic simulated test day experiences so that when you walk into the exam on Saturday or Monday, depending on what day it is for you, it's going to be like just another practice test. So it's all about properly simulating test day conditions, strictly timing yourself, and of course, doing five sections, not four. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.